It's Sunday, May 9th, and um, boy, there's one thing you can count on about the weather and springtime around here is it's going to be, it can't decide what it wants to do. One day it's, we got the hangar door open, it's beautiful. Today, we got the heat on in here. It, it just doesn't know what it wants to do. But we'll be complaining about the heat here in a little while, probably. I'm assuming so. Hey, today we're going to, uh, we got these countersunk yesterday. Got those dimpled and countersunk. And uh, today we're going we're gonna to check those. And we just go along, we hold the skin down into the countersink and we you know, hold it tight on there and run our fingers along it to see if we can feel any little any bumps in there where that where that skin's not sitting all the way flush in there kind of went over it real quick uh, a couple times didn't really feel anything in there but there might be a few spots where i just gotta hit it with that countersink where maybe it just didn't quite get enough uh taken out of there but uh, that's what we're gonna do uh then we'll clean that out uh deburr it on the back side and just depending on how we're doing on time we possibly might get started uh, riveting this up. Got these leading edge flush rivet holes all final sized out to a 30 and we got everything deburred and cleaned underneath the skin, underneath the spar, that's all done. And is there anything else? Oh, I thought you were going to make a point or say something. Oh, there's fuzz on there. Oh. <laughs> um, so that's done and now we will commence to riveting. Cleek, well, yeah, cleek O and then rivet. Just like on the other wing and the other uh, surfaces we did, we are writing the rivet numbers and where they're going into this wing. So we've got 40 ones that go through the skin into the ribs and then the stringers use a 42 rivet. But uh, we just wanted to make sure that we have this all noted on here. It took us about 15 minutes to do this, so it's probably something that's worthwhile. Um, it will ensure that you don't put the wrong rivet in. So we double checked all of our rivet specs and wrote it on there with a fine point Sharpie.
wrapping up here this afternoon, this evening. I guess it's after five, so it makes it evening, right? Sure. Okay. Um, we are done for the day, and we did get the front row, the flush rivets done in the wing, the top side. And I just want to say uh, two, okay, Flying Cub, Glen Stalker, and LT Voyager. There was, uh, you guys had a pretty good discussion about dimpling, countersinking, final sizing on these, for these rivets on the spar. And I am super happy with how we did it. We went with the number 40 counter, pilot, number 40 pilot countersink, the number 40 pilot dimple. We transfer drilled the number 40, did the dimple, did the countersink, and then, then we final sized it to a number 30. And every single one of these uh, CCC 42, these stainless 42 rivets, these flush rivets, every single one of these, there's 103 in this uh, leading edge, every single one of them was a perfect pull. I just wanted to say that. And we wet riveted that. Um, but those came out really, really nice. So that's what we'll use on the bottom side. Wish we would have done it on the other wing, but that's done. We just had some of the mandrels on the other wing that, that were, weren't flush or they actually protruded a little bit. So they pulled a little more than I think they should have. But I had sent that over to Rand's and Randy said those were fine. So, um, it's, I'm, I'm okay with that, but boy, these, these came out really nice. Um, what else? We wrote our rivet down? Oh yeah, wrote, wrote the rivet numbers on the top skin for when we get started on that. And that's what we got done today. Mm -hmm. uh, again, appreciate the comments, questions, suggestions, and this rivet job here was a product of those comments um, so thanks guys for, for doing that. If, um, you're liking the videos, give us a thumbs up. Special thanks to the project manager that hosted yesterday's video. She did a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. And, uh, again, appreciate the comments, suggestions, questions. That's, uh, that's all we got for today. Have a good evening. Thanks for watching, and that's it for now.